Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin. I'll be joined later by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Great question sent in today. Someone said, uh, you know, I enter a date here and I need to back that date up to the first week of the month. Oh, but the way they decide to define the first week is driving me crazy because they want to go back to the first of the month. That's easy enough to do, but then figure out where the Monday is. Oh, all right. So, I, uh, we're going to build this here. I'm going to just put in a few uh, dates, so equal date. Uh, let's go with 2009, comma, 1, comma, 1, and then just add plus random, ran between uh, 1, comma, 350. So we get some random dates in there. And we'll copy that down. All right, so we have our dates. Uh, and I'm actually going to format those so I can see what day of the week it is, just that way I can do a few tests here. So we'll go with a long date. All right, so this is our uh, original date. And first thing I want to do is I want to figure out where the first of the month is. First of the month, I'm going to use, since I'm in Excel 2007, a great function called EO month. EO month, and I'm going to ask for uh, the first of not this month, but the previous month, minus one. Check that out. Great way to get back to the previous uh, month, EST. All right, so what we have, uh, that takes us back to from July 10th to Tuesday, June 30th. I'm going to add one to that, which will get me to the first of this month reliably. Copy that down. Let's see here. Make sure that we have at least a few of them that fall on Monday. Perfect, we do. Okay, next I need to do the weekday thing, and I can never remember how the weekday works. So I'm just going to uh, use the three possibilities up here, one, two, three. I'm going to ask for equal weekday of this date. Press F4, one, two, three times, and using that code, one, two times. All right, and we'll see how these work out here. What I'm looking for is something that basically on a Tuesday is going to return a 1. Okay, so that looks like that's it, the 3 code. And even better, on a Monday, it's returning a 0. So I want to then subtract the weekday. Uh, so I want to uh, come up here with my adjustment factor. The adjustment is equal weekday of this original date, comma 3, because that's what our test says that we want to do. And then finally, our uh, Monday that we want is equal column C minus the number of days here. Should always get us back to a Monday every single time. All right, now, uh, so we have that formula, but unfortunately, you know, it took me uh, several tries to get that formula. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, the trick that I frequently use to build a nice mega formula. I see here that my formula is looking for D10, so I come back to D10, and I'm going to choose all of the cells except for the equal sign, Control C to copy, and then here, uh, choose D10 and Control V to paste. Great, now I have a formula that uses C10 twice, so we'll come back to C10, and again, copy all of the uh, characters except for the equal sign, copy, and then come here, and in each case where we have C10, I will use Control V to paste, and Control V to paste and shoot that down. So there we go. That's my formula there. Um, not too bad. Uh, this was the formula that they were originally using much, much longer. Uh, so certainly a faster way to go. Let's throw over to Mike, see what Mike has. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Wow, this is a really great question. So we have this column of dates. And really what we want, escape, is we want to find the first day of the month. If the first day of the month is Monday, we want to keep that day. Otherwise, we need to go back to the previous month and find uh, the last Monday. Hey, you know, this original formula is pretty ingenious. If you run formula evaluator on that, that's a pretty ingenious formula. This one right here, end of month, uh, that's about as short as an and as efficient as you are going to get. End of month is added in through analysis tool pack, or if you have 2007 or 10, it's built in. Some people don't have that. I'll give you a formula that'll work without end of month. Now, um, first, I'm going to just calculate the from all of these dates the first day of whatever month it is. Why don't I hide these? Right, uh, highlight those two columns. Right-click hide. Then I'll make this a little bit bigger. 
equals date. We use the date function. Now all you need to do is give it a year, a month, and a day. Since we want it to be uh, changed as we copy it down, we'll use first the year function. The year function will look at this date and just give us 2009, which is exactly what the date function needs in the year argument. Comma, and then we'll do month. Same thing, it'll look here and give us a 10 comma, and the day argument. Well, we want the first, so we'll just hard code a 1 in, close parentheses. Now, control enter, when I copy that down, that's going to give us the first day of each one of these months. Now, let's uh, see if we can notice a pattern here. Come down here, there's a Monday, right? So that date is fine. From this, we want to subtract 0. But what about Tuesday? Oh, we need to go back one day so to get to the Monday before, so we subtract 1. Sunday, we actually need to subtract 6. So from all of these dates, we need either, either need to subtract a number for, or from 0 to 6. The weekday function, as uh, Mr. Excel already showed you, does exactly that. Now, the weekday function is not going to be looking at this date. It's actually going to be looking at this whole, the first day of the month. So I'm going to copy this, highlight, control C, click at the end, and now I'm going to do minus. And we'll use that awesome weekday function. Now, the screen tip's polite. It says, hey, give me the serial number. I'm not going to click there. I'm going to hit control V and just paste whatever that thing is that I just created calculating the first day of the month comma, and then the return type argument, just like Mr. Excel, I can never remember it, but I'm in the middle, the screen tip says I'm in the weekday function, so I'm going to click the F of X, click in this argument dialog box here, return type and read it. Sunday 1 through Saturday equals 7, use 1, Monday equals 1, Sunday equals 7, Two. Ah, look at this, is this cool? For Monday equals 0 through Sunday equals 6, use 3. It's as if they made this little 3 in this return type argument exactly for finding uh, the, la the first Monday of whatever reporting period this is. Perfect for our particular use. Click OK, and there it is. I'm going to double click and send it down. And you can see right there, it looks big and scary. It was just that first part, which is first day of the month. We slap that in the weekday and use the weekday return type number three as a second argument. Totally amazing. All right, we'll see you next trick.